the video went, but the voice, the microphone apparently didn't work this time. So I'm doing a voiceover on this. This is an AC Moore haul. And I went in the store for two things in particular. But of course, I walked around and bought some more. So I went around the whole store, <laughs> had some coupons. And the first thing I went for was this white gesso. Uh, this one is by Golden, and it was $14.99 regular, but I used a 40% off coupon on that. And I'm showing you this is what I have before, but it's over halfway gone, and I wanted to get some more because I'm going to be doing hashtag uh, 100 Things Challenge, only it's Dances with Pitbulls 100 Things Challenge this time, and um, so I want to make sure I had enough in the house before that started and i think i'm just reading the back of the jar there for you to tell you what it's good for but you pretty much all know what gesso is it's like a primer to use for when you're doing mixed media or painting or whatever and i've been known to mix it with different color things as well So that was the first thing. Then the second thing I went in for was a uh, modeling paste or texture paste. And I ended up with this Liquitex um, medium, gel medium opaque. And I'm reading the back and it was all good on what you could use it for. You can mix acrylic paints in with it, but not oil paints. Um, until I read down about the sixth thing and it said not for use on flexible surfaces as it may crack. So I'm thinking, oh, great, that's not good on paper, but I guess I can still use it on um, cardboard or something like that that would be thicker, heavy duty. So we'll see. Anyway, I may have bought the wrong kind, and um, I'm having trouble with finding the right texture paste to use that's opaque that I can mix with colors and use for stenciling and things like that. So what do you all use? This one I did not get a 40% off, but I used the 10 for 40, $10 off 40, so I think I got it for $13.62 or something like that. Regular $14.99. Okay, and then on to some bling. <laughs> These were on an end cap and they were all on clearance uh, and there were different ones. This one is a three row bling and um, I forget how many yards it was. But it had it was the had the coupon applied also. I think it ended up being a dollar eighty one, something like that. So probably a little more than what you pay at Dollar Tree for the same or similar thing. And then this one is, there's more to it, but it's a single row instead of triple row. They had different sizes, but the only other color they had was a black with silver. And I didn't get that one. So then... These were on an end cap. Also, they used to have them on a big rack, and I think they're being clearanced out now, although they were still a dollar. So I paid 91 cents for each of these, um, and I got some different colors. This one was called Aubergine Tiny Flowers or something like that. So it's like a lime green and purple, and these are the same colors in different flowers. These are called paper flowers, but they're flowers and butterflies, and they feel more like foam to me. I've had them before, and they're in turquoise. And these are little turquoise flowers. These are like turquoise and green and uh, yellow. I got two packs of those, and one pack of the turquoise and yellow butterflies and flowers. And they were all 91 cents each. With uh, they were a dollar with the coupon I had. They ended up being 91 cents. And then the sugar dots are next. I got two each in the turquoise. But one of the packs was marked wrong and it said the 
code came up as clear, but they were both turquoise, so that's kind of funny. And then two of the purple. I think these are really pretty, and for a dollar, they're great. And then the pink. And one will be for me, and one will go in the gifty box of each color. These are Studio G, and you can get that at Walmart too, but I don't recall having seen that color. It's possible, but it's sort of like a cranberry reddish purple, maybe like a purpley garnet, um, cross between red and purple. And then these smaller turquoise ones, which I love. I had ordered them online once before, um, but I think I'm almost out of them. And I think they were a little more money. I think I ended up being a dollar eighty-one. Uh, they may have been a dollar ninety-nine. I can't remember. And I don't have the receipt right with me since this is a voiceover. Okay, this is the clear Aurora Borealis ones, um, small ones, and then these are really pretty. These are definitely like an A B. And they show up as greens and purples and blues, and that's what I'm showing you there. 62 pieces, but the flip back part is little flowers in the same, and they make really nice centers for paper flowers and things. They are stickers. Most of the time I use the hot glue gun with them anyway. And that's it for the bling. And then next we have stickers. The first one is the um, rainbow butterfly. They have like a jelly gel feel to them. And I'm looking for the price and it's right on the package, <laughs> but I can't remember what it is and I can't see it while doing this voiceover for you. But I want to say they were like $1.99 and then on sale for $1.81 or something like that. They were a little more than I normally would pay for, might have been more than that even for stickers. So, and here's the pretty colors. And then Happy Crafter Lisa Goss, if you're looking, look at these pretty pink and brown, pink and brown flowers. I thought they were really pretty. Those were 91 cents, so they were a dollar in the store. And I'm pretty sure these were a dollar also. The cute cats and dogs. Look at these cuties. Aren't they pretty? Cats and dogs. And the top one has a yarn ball he's playing with. That's what I was pointing out. And then the next one is sweet treats. Ice creams, cookies, lollipops, watermelon, and ice cream cones. These are foam stickers too. And they were 91 cents. Okay, on to the ribbon. All these ribbons were on an end cap and they were on sale. I guess they're regularly 50 cents, but I got them all for 31 cents. They were on sale for 33 cents each and then my $10 off 40, uh, the way how much I had spent only gave me a couple more pennies off, but um, that's okay. 31 cents is still pretty good for some of them have six yards and some have a little less, I believe. Uh, the metallic ones had a little less. So I got silver. Oh, I guess that one's white. And then we have silver. And then we have gold. And I'm reading you the yardage on each, but I don't have that in front of me now. This one is cream. This one is light blue. And this one is cobalt blue. And they had lots of other colors and they had one or two other styles, but that's all I got in the ribbon. And then I found these other two types of flowers. I've been looking all over for cream in those little roses and I can't find them, but they had this style in cream. 
So I picked up those and I also got the white, pink, and blue ones in that same style of flower because I didn't have that style before. And then they had these really pretty sprays with tulle. These were in the wedding area, um, which I don't usually go down, but I just, they caught my eye. I think they were $1.49 and I got them for $1.36 each or something. Okay, this is confetti that was on an end row and these are white doves. And I thought they would be nice for um, around the holidays. I can do a blue and white piece themed um, card or cards. And I thought they'd go nice in those. Okay, then I bought these flare, paper mate flare pens. The larger packs were really expensive, so I only got this pack, which was regular $7.99, and I think I got it for uh, $7.34 or something like that. Um, but it has most of the colors I'll use in my planner anyway. The orange, green, blue, and like a raspberry pinky purple. So I wanted to give them a try because I had seen somebody use them and say that she used them, they're her favorite in her planner because they don't bleed through the paper. And I'm pretty sure she also used a happy planner. So I really wanted to give those a try because most of the other markers I have bleed through the paper. So I'm anxious to try those. And then I did get another tube of E6000 which I ended up paying about $3.17 for. And I was explaining here that some of the online stores are having new rules for shipping hazardous materials, they call it, such as glues. So your shipping costs may go up um, because of shipping hazmat type things. So I'll probably be buying most of my glues and things in the stores now to the extent I can to avoid those higher shipping costs. Okay, then I came upon some washi, and each of these was a dollar on sale. Not all their washi was, but these were. So I ended up paying 91 cents for each one I'm showing you. This one is a pink floral. And then we have a blue floral, although it's called bees or something when it rang up, but it's more flowers. There might be some bees on it, I don't know. And then this uh, raspberry pink chevron, which I thought was really pretty. It's chevron and polka dot in a raspberry pink. And then I don't usually buy Project Life cards, but I did this time because I thought this pattern was really pretty and they were 60% off plus the $10 off 40 gave me more of a discount and I ended up paying like $363 for all these cards and I'm showing you everything that's in the package but you get so many you get four by six journaling cards four by six title cards and three by four um, cards I don't know what they're called at this point but um, I just thought the patterns and the colors in them were prettier than some of the others I'd seen and I think I could use them in my um, planner as well as in happy mail you know in pockets and things or whatever on the front of journals or something or flip books or something so um, I thought they were cute and for 363 I, I didn't want to pass them up and I don't think you can do any better with that price at like Tuesday morning for those so and I hadn't seen any that were as cute as those they had some other ones, but that was my favorite. Then I um, was about out of A2 cards and envelopes, and these were on, not all their envelopes and cards were on sale, but these were, they were, it was like a value deal or something, the regular $4.99, $2 off was $2.99, and I got a little bit further of a discount. So I think it was $2.71 I paid for 25 cards and 25 envelopes. So I didn't think that was too bad. I only got one of them. 
and they were the A2 size. And then on one of the end racks, they had six by six papers, but I've never seen them have eight by eights and all in the love Nicole. And they had this one called morning brew, which I really, really liked. And I got two of that particular one. So they were regularly $9.99, but they were half off, which would be $5. And, um, and then there was more of a discount. So I got it for like $4.54 each one of these, which I thought was a good price. And here I'm showing you all the different papers in this morning brew paper pad. That one says, do not worry, be happy. And it's sort of that raspberry color that matches the word one. And then that has the different um, espresso beans, the coffee beans, the presses and whatnot. And there's four of each paper and that one's just the coffee colors in a stripe. And then we have some donuts and coffee mugs. So cute. And then light pink. And then sort of a chevroni color or pattern. I forget what that says. Oh, I'm having my third cup of coffee today. <laughs> And then macaroons, or however you say that. Then the to-go coffee mugs and the iced coffees. And that's it. So you get four of each one. Really cute. And I did get two of them, one for me and one for not me. And then I got one other one that was the same price, the $5 less my discount. It was called Paradise. They had some other ones too, but th these two were my favorites. And that's sort of a coral geometric color there I'm showing you. Reminds me of a Singapore hotel is what I'm saying that had metal work outside that was that pattern. And that's like a teal. And that's a dark teal with pink pineapples. And then we have pink flamingos with yellow pineapples. And then sort of a diamond shape. And you can cut it to make tags the way they have a line through it. And then a tropical foliage. And some coral with tiny little um, uh, palm trees, excuse me. And then a light blue, a light blue with Toucan Sam. <laughs> and a pink. And then a dark, I think it's like a real dark green or black with light green leaves and pink and coral, pink and hot pink flamingos. And there's a bright pink to go with that as well. And another geometric, but in mint this time. And some stripes, watercolor stripes, and then more tropical. So that was real pretty too. And then the morning brew one had washi tube rolls to go with it. I don't remember seeing one for the paradise, but there could have been. I did not get it though. I did get the coffee one. There's nine rolls in it. I'm counting there and then I see it says nine rolls on it. Um, so those were on sale for five dollars as well and I got them for $4.54 for nine rolls. There's different quantities um, on some of the rolls and I was reading the bottom which tells you that but I think the little sil um, silver, I'm sorry, Turquoise metallic -y is probably the one with the least amount on. And I'm kind of telling you now what is on each one, which of course I can't see. Let's 
That's really cute. It's got some nice words with it, and it matches the paper pretty well. So I got one of those for me and one not for me. <laughs> but it's got donuts and to-go cups and coffee in the morning. All kinds of sayings and pictures that are coffee related. I was trying to read some of the words on there for you, but it was kind of hard to do. Anyway, spending a lot of time on the coffee washi. Sorry about that. And I can't remember what the words say. One of them says good morning. <laughs> so that is those. And I think that's mostly my AC Moore haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... I know I did. It was fun. I went on Monday after a long day uh, at mom's and stuff, do cleaning, final cleanings and whatnot, scrubbing down the, the deck rails and whatnot. So yeah, thanks for watching.